Linux, Unix, Debian, CentOS, ParrotOS, Ubuntu. These are the names that we hear a lot about. Let's understand what is the importance of Linux in terms of a candidate platform for software defined networking. The first and foremost answer is Linux is not the ultimate one shop stop for SDNs because there is no Linux for SDNs as such. However, Linux is the most important contender to have a distribution which is SDN compliant. And no wonder we might see one someday. The modern day operating systems whether we talk about Android or Windows, have their roots in Linux. Many of them do expose Linux internals, um, for instance, uh, through Linux like Bash, or sometimes they don't. But Linux, with all its open source features, is a very strong candidate for software defined networking. Let's look at some distros or the Linux distributions for network elements. Switches, routers, gateways, firewalls, intrusion prevention systems, intrusion detection systems, load balancers, application servers. All these could be deployed in custom hardware. Linux is not naive to that. Therefore, the Open Compute Project actually shortlisted Open Network Linux for open source network hardware. It means through Linux, GUI, X window system, the services of that particular hardware could be exposed using this open source initiative. Then there is a Debian equivalent also known as Cumulus Networks that offers Linux as a networked operating system to support various hardwares. What is the overall relationship within the family of distros? Each one of the distributions out there do use Linux kernel, but depending upon the origin, the American university or a company or some European initiative that led to the evolution of a certain flavor of Linux resulted into different communities. For instance, we have a Debian family, we have a Red Hat Enterprise Linux, one of the earliest providers of Linux, then we have the open source use. Now, these are the um, primary or the initial variants. Then their uh, downstream evolutions took place. For instance, we all are aware of Ubuntu, I myself use Ubuntu. Uh, then we have Linux Mint, sent OS Fedora under the Red Hat, and the, uh, the open source Linux Enterprise uh, initiative in the third category. We also have other distributions as well. So what are these distributions uh, and these families known for? These families are known to provide a range of uh, services and features. For instance, we have the distribution roles, which include support services for commercial activities like running a data center. Then the updates in operating system like service packs, uh, patches, etc. Then provisioning of applications like the Docker container for the Linux environment. Uh, then certain libraries and certain configurations uh, to meet different uh, um, heterogeneous interfacing requirements, then corresponding documentation for commands using the man page uh, for different applications and services. Now, these are the distribution roles. Depending upon whether it's a commercial activity or it's a community driven activity, such as the open source versus proprietary, uh, we have uh, these uh, services against different families. This is a quick snapshot of uh, some cheat sheets that I could have my hands on. Uh, so you see that there are some 
networking commands given on the left hand side uh, look at this command dig that shows the dns information about a certain domain that uh, uh, supports the dig command uh, then on the right hand side we have certain uh, sub commands for instance uh, uh, look at uh, ne add that is the neighbor entry for the address resolution protocol to add an entry to the arp table now it means that if you can understand how these basic linux commands work you can automate the functionality by using the bash or the batch file processing the references that i have included for you to explore are the first one is from medium introduction to linux uh, then again the reference that i have used earlier as well network programmability and automation skills for the next generation, generation network engineer then phoenix snap and linux training academy um, i would appreciate if you can visit these and explore the potential of you, uh, linux as a platform for software defined networking